Well, I found out something interesting happened on the Chris forums. Um, a guy released a mapper pack for VRC7. And really, this is only good for like two games. I think it's like uh, Famicom, Tiny Toons 2, and LaGrange Point. And LaGrange Point is one of the more amazing NES games ever produced. And I think this is the first time that it's been somewhat capable of running on a flash cart. And of course, I had to try it immediately. And I, I did get it to work, but then I went to go find a English translation. And I swear to God, I, I, I played the ROM twice. And the second time I was like, oh, I'm gonna record some audio on this. And I forgot to hit the record button. And ever since then, I cannot get the English translation ROM to play. I have no idea why. So there are two Japanese ROMs that most people have anyway and one of them plays all the time and one of them doesn't and you'll see in the video I don't remember in the video some of the videos I shot I tried each of them before I finally got to the third one this one I may have went straight to the third one but you'll see I have three of them in my test folder or whatever and I keep getting uh, was the fat error and some other errors trying to load uh, the English translation in the Japanese ROM, I think the one with the exclamation point that supposedly is tested and working, always get these errors on them. So, anyway, the the mapper support that was released doesn't do audio, doesn't do the um, the expansion audio yet. So I thought, well, this is a perfect test for the high def NES kit because the high def NES kit does all expansion audio. Um, within itself. You don't even need those parts of the mapper or chipsets to make it work. And I thought, that's, you know, this is a perfect time to test that. So this video is actually threefold. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get really good audio um, onto a video because I don't actually have an HDMI capture card and that would probably be best. And you'll notice at the beginning of the video, there is a ton of like background noise. And this is because I'm trying to feed line out from the projector straight to the camera. And it just, it does not produce quality audio. And you also notice some like rainbowing in the video. That's really just my camera and the projector not getting along. Like it's trying, and sometimes it's even trying to focus onto the picture. That really has nothing to do with high-def NFS kit. That is just my camera not loving it. I also tried it on the Sanyo. There is a headphone port on this and it was actually even worse as far as background noise and stuff. So I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to find some other way of getting quality audio to you. And then I wanted to show that the high-def NFS kit would generate expansion audio, you know, with only having the ROM basically you know not needing expansion audio chips and of course to actually show that LaGrange, LaGrange Point is working with this new mapper support software on the on the EverDrive and also that it works on my EverDrive which works on the high definition kit because I still am running like version 3 of the firmware so enjoy the video